Hi guys, so today we'll be looking at how you can build your own home theater PC uh, using the Raspberry Pi which not only plays your local media but can also stream uh, media off the internet. So let's get right into it. Okay, so in this guide we'll be making use of the Raspberry Pi 2 but all the steps in the guide should be applicable to the older models of the Pi as well. So this is all the stuff that you're going to need for the setup. A Raspberry Pi of course, in this video I will be using the Model 2 but older models should work perfectly fine as well. A micro USB charger that uh, provides at least 2 amps of current, an HDMI cable to connect the Pi to your television, a micro SD card that has at least 4 gigabytes of storage, a USB keyboard and a mouse and finally a Wi-Fi dongle in case you want to access the internet on the Pi through your home uh, wireless network. Ok so with everything in hand let's get going. So the first thing that you need to do is head on to your windows PC and download a tiny software called SD card formatter. In my case I already got it downloaded so I'll just go ahead and install it right away. So the next thing that we need is obviously an OS for the Raspberry Pi and in my case I will be making use of an OS called OSMC which serves the purpose of using your Pi as an STPC really well. And I also personally feel that OSMC is a lot snappier compared to other operating systems available for the Pi for the purpose of using it as an HTPC. So OSMC tends to be my go-to operating system when I want to make use of my Pi as an HTPC. So to download it just go ahead and type OSMC installer on Google and open up the downloads page of the website. Now scroll down and download the installer specific to the version of operating system you are currently using. In my case I'll be downloading the windows installer. Ok, so once you've downloaded the software, the next thing that you need to do is plug in your SD card into your computer and launch SD Formatter. We'll be making use of this to format the SD card. So please ensure that there is no important data present in the SD card and if there is, please ensure that you do take a backup of it beforehand. And the software just choose the correct drive letter for your SD card. In my case it is the letter E for my SD card. And simply label the volume as OSMC. And in the format option ensure that quick format is selected and format size adjustment is turned on. Now just go ahead and format the card. And after that is done we need to run the OSMC installer. Ok, please select your language. English. What would you like to install OSMC on? Raspberry Pi 2. Next. Please select the version you'd like to install. I'd go for the latest build. Where would you like to install OSMC on? On an SD card. I'll be using a wireless connection. Just choose your wireless connection security, type in your SSID and key and hit next. Install on my SD card, accept the terms and conditions and yeah, there you go. It starts to download the complete OS as what we previously downloaded was simply the installer. So once the download is completed, it will ask you whether you are sure you want to install OSMC over your device. Just click yes and the installation will begin. So that's it for the computer side of the things. Now set up the Pi on your television and insert the SD card in. And this is what you'll see on your first boot up. So it will begin formatting and installing files on the SD card. Just be patient because this process may take a while to complete. Ok, so once the installation procedure has completed, OSMC will automatically reboot and greet you with the home screen. Now simply complete the setup procedure and there you are, you got OSMC installed on your 
Raspberry Pi. So the next step is to install add-ons to begin streaming your favorite media collection onto your newly created home theater setup. So I'll go ahead and install two of my favorite, the YouTube add-on as well as the Twitch add-on. But there are several other add-ons available so you could actually go ahead and try them out and keep the ones that you like. Another major thing that you want to do is ensure that all the media stored on your local network is also accessible through the Pi. For example, in my case I want to be able to access my movies collection stored on my personal computer. So for that I simply go to settings, file manager and select root. Then click the browse button. Now go down and select windows network. SMB since I want to be able to access my Windows computer and wait for a while since it's looking up for devices on my local network. So once the device on your local network are found, simply go ahead and browse for the folders that you want to share with the Pi and then add it to the directory of shared folders. This way all the media that is present in these folders will be accessible through your Pi. Finally, in case you want to be able to navigate the interface on your Pi through your television remote control, you must have a television that supports CEC, that is Consumer Electronics Control, which is a feature that lets the television interact with the device connected to it through an HDMI cable. In my case, I have an LG TV that does support this feature, so what I do is simply press the Simplink button on my television remote control and just enable the Simplink feature. However, for your television, you may want to check your television manual to see if your television supports the CEC feature and how to enable it. So that's it for this video guys. If this video was any helpful to you, please hit the like button and do subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video.